Uh, so we're one day in. Um, it's the end of the first day. It's been quite busy. Uh, we interviewed nine people today, five in the morning, four in the afternoon. Uh, those in the morning were our first uh, choice candidates, i.e. those that applied to St Catharines as their college of, of preference. And those we interviewed in the afternoon were those that had applied to other colleges around the university. The department makes sure that everyone who applies for engineering is interviewed by two colleges uh, on the day that uh, they come up for interview so that each candidate can have um, a, a tw two, two opportunities to, to shine at interview. So, so in the interview, um, normally we start off with a, with a question to um, make the candidate feel at ease. So we, we normally discuss a little bit of um, work that they've, they've mentioned on their personal statement or we'd get them to talk to us about why they want to do engineering. Uh, what is their motivation? What was it that set them onto the path of doing maths and physics at school and applying for engineering at uh, Oxford University? And that puts them at ease. And then we get into some technical questions where we're looking for them to apply their, their maths and physics skills to uh, the problems that we're, we're asking them to, to look at. In the interviews, we ask very much the same questions of all the candidates because we want to see how the different candidates compare. Uh, it doesn't get monotonous. Each candidate approaches the, the questions in a slightly different way and some of them find some parts easier than uh, the other parts and some candidates struggle on bits that um, other candidates have, have done really well on. So it, it's not monotonous, uh, it's something that's interesting all the time because we're, we're seeing how they are responding to the question that we've asked and also they're under pressure in the interview and how they're coping with that pressure. and thinking through the problem that we've, we've asked them, um, trying to see uh, what it is that is, is motivating them to, to be so keen on maths and physics, and, and will they be able to sustain an interest in maths and physics when they do an engineering degree. We spend a lot of time and effort on, on this process because selecting the students is probably the most important thing we can do uh, as academics that teach on the, the university courses. Um, ultimately, we want to teach the best students. Um, so it makes sense to spend a lot of time and effort and energy selecting those students for the courses. And because we're going to spend a lot of time teaching them, um, it makes sense to spend a lot of time selecting them. Um, the, en the, the Oxford teaching process is very, very intensive on the um, academics. We spend a lot of time one-to-one -one teaching students. Um, even in laboratories, we, we, we supervise and demonstrate on laboratories. Um, so we want to teach the best people. To get the best people, we feel we need to interview them and um, assess them at the start. And, and to do that properly, you need to spend a lot of time. You can't just do it um, at lunchtime. You've got, to, you've got to devote a serious amount of time to to doing it. We are, when admissions is on, I basically just do admissions. There's no point trying to do anything else. There's, there's no time. Um, you, you just think, okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, admissions only. Let's get that done. Uh, let's do the interviews. Let's um, look at the notes. Let's meet with my colleagues and, and discuss the different candidates. Uh, let's make our decisions. And we also have a big meeting in the department on Thursday where we discuss all the candidates that have applied for engineering so that we make sure the best people who have applied to Oxford get in, irrespective of which, which college they apply to. So once we've had that meeting, uh, then I'll start to relax and think about other things to do, uh, like getting on with my life and of course, maybe watching the cricket, which will start on Thursday. And hopefully Australia will uh, come back and, and draw the series one all, but uh, we'll see. <laughs>